This is absolutely one of those stories you have to see to believe. Now I can confirm it ends here at this Blaine Speedway behind me over there at pump number nine. And it begins about a mile and a half away with a young four-year-old boy with a hankering for some early morning candy. And how fast were you going, do you know? I hit this gas brake and like that. And, and what were you, where were you going? To the gas station. How come? Because I will have reasons. Let's just say little Sebastian is a little mischievous. This is where the gas sword can open. What? What's that Papa would do? The kiddo appears to know just about everything when it comes to his great grandfather's Hyundai Santa Fe. And Tuesday morning, about 8:30, Sebastian put a real scare into his family when he took off in the SUV. Panicking, anxiety, a little, a little bit of almost all of the emotions going on and trying to calculate what happened and... How do you get him down? Sebastian demonstrated how he pulled it off using great grandpa Roy's walker to grab the keys from wall hooks. And when no one was watching, he bounded into the driver's seat and was off. He watches everything people do, does. You know, and he'll, and he'll repeat it. From great grandpa's house, Sebastian stretched his tiny body, his eyes barely able to see above the steering wheel. He backed out of the driveway, heading through some windy neighborhood streets before turning left onto incredibly busy University Avenue at the heart of the morning rush. From there, witnesses reported he drove erratically along University at speeds in the 10 to 15 mile an hour range, eventually getting the Santa Fe safely into the gas station parking lot where police quickly met him. I've never seen a driver this young before operating a vehicle. A day later, and there are some laughs. No one was seriously injured in Sebastian's remarkable ride. But there are also some serious lessons for him and his family, including plans to lock up the keys going forward and to keep a closer eye on the youngster. You're laughing about it, but yeah, it could have been very serious. You know, he could have hit a car and not wearing the seatbelt. We could have been talking about a funeral right now. That's scary. Yes, it is. In Blaine, Paul Bloom, Fox 9.